Richard Southern joins us once again to chat about some of the more interesting stories of the day. And Richard, this is a great one. Ontario woman is now a millionaire and she sure deserves it. Yeah, she does. I mean, I'm usually very jealous with these lotto stories and, you know, I still am a little bit jealous, quite frankly. But Vera Page is her name, Eric, and she really does deserve it. Here she is getting her check for $60 million. She won the the November 1st uh, draw, uh, Erica. She lives in Van Leek Hill, Ontario, a town of 2,000 people up near Ottawa. Anyways, she heard someone from her town won on the news. She checks her ticket. She finds three numbers that match, and she was happy. She said, I want a free ticket. Anyways, they all end up matching. She couldn't believe it. She phones her sister, who also didn't believe her at first, and her sister's key to the story, because back in 1983, this very sister of Vera faced a life or death situation, and Vera came to the rescue. Take a listen. My sister was gonna die if she didn't get a kidney. So I said, if my kidneys are good, and if I'm a match, I said, you can have one of my kidneys. Well, I knew if I didn't, she'd die. And I didn't want her to die, so, so I gave her the kidney. I mean, if that's not karma, right? What goes around comes around, Erica. Oh my goodness, I just, I love that story and Vera, so well deserved. And and look at look at how happy she is too. It's amazing. She's gonna build a new home and wants to go cruising. Wants to go on a lot of cruises. So you go, Vera. Hit the Enjoy high seas. Enjoy all of the cruises, Vera. I love that. Okay, we're approaching three years of pandemic life, and downtown Toronto still hasn't returned to normal, Richard. Foot traffic, new study in, foot traffic's 46% below pre-pandemic. Does that strike, you're downtown all the time, Erica, does that strike with what you're seeing? Yeah, I mean, the traffic, like, the, the with cars, that, that has increased for sure, but I'm not seeing a lot of people, certainly not as many as I saw before the pandemic. Yeah, I mean, especially if you're down in the financial core, uh, that's for sure. Uh, many workplaces in the financial district are mandating some sort of return-to-work policies, but still, again, it's like half of what we were seeing pre-pandemic, and Toronto's not the only major city seeing a drop in foot traffic. Vancouver, 48% below pre-pandemic levels. Ottawa, 45% below. And the same study actually found that there's more foot traffic in some of the surrounding communities, like Barrie, Brampton, and Brantford, uh, where the foot traffic is up 30%. So kind of still seeing, Erica, people working from home and moving out of the city, and that's a trend that really hasn't uh, mitigated. It's not a bad thing. I think it's a good thing, right, that people are, I think, happier working from home. It's not sure. a bad thing. Not generally, but it does. it's not great for the stores here because they did rely on a lot of that foot traffic. So, I mean, yeah, pros and cons. Finally, uh, let's let the cat out of the bag with this final story. Favorite story for me. Uh, you know you put your bag through the security machine when you go uh, on the airplane? Yes. So a guy did this in JFK in New York the other day, and the security agent goes, what's that in the x-ray? What is that, Eric? In oh, the is that a dog? It's a cat. A cat, yeah. okay. Sorry, cat out of the bag. Look at the fur poking out. Oh. <laughs> what? Um, the, the person who had the bag uh, said, wait a minute, I didn't know there was a cat in here. Turns out this person was visiting a friend in New York and the friend's cat climbed into the bag unbeknownst to oh. anyone. <laughs> the cat's name Smells is the name. Uh, Smells was returned to her owner safe and sound. Wow, what a story. Wait Erica. a second. But you closed the bag and didn't know that, they were, that the cat was there? Uh, smells must have been very quiet, maybe not a meow, if we are to believe <laughs> this story, Erica. Yeah, anybody who has a pet knows that when you're packing, they do like to get into the luggage and stay there. Maybe and you would love you to leave. Dog Luna with you on a trip. I know you'd probably try I something. I have. Like I brought her from Winnipeg to Toronto, but you, but you know, through the proper channels, <laughs> not sneaking her sneak in. Sneaking her through the x-ray machine. No. <laughs> okay, thanks, Richard. We'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.